Hey, your head's Jeff with Gear Report here at Royal Tiger Imports in sunny Florida, where they've gotten in an amazing batch of military surplus rifles. They're in Ethiopia, and the rifles range from the late 1800s through the mid 1900s and include a wide variety of military surplus rifles from Europe and even a few incredibly rare ones. Like, I'd like to show you this uh, 1891 Carcano that you'll see has some very intricate engraving. and some bright work in a gold color around a gold trigger, some engraving here. Uh, this is a very special rifle. So now if we can go to the book, I don't wanna get anything wrong here. So, so we're gonna actually look on paper to be sure I, I get everything right. It's a Machetto Modelo 1891. This run of 100 rifles was commissioned by the Duke of, I, I'm gonna butcher this, the Duke of Dosta. Here you can see uh, an example of this particular type of rifle. And so our production details. This was a limited production variant of the 1891 carbine that was issued to the personal escort bodyguard detail of the Viceroy of Ethiopia, Duke Armidio de Asta. All right, so there are a hundred of these made. They range from the serial number C8000 to C8100. So there's a hundred rifles there. This particular one is C8048. They're made by Greta Gardone. Okay, so you can see they made two models. It's a great example of the engraving. This is the, the regular enlisted troop model that we have and then they uh, so it had this inlaid cartouche in the stock so we have this uh, you can see where the inlay was that inlay is is not actually in here anymore the bright engraved area on the top of the receiver uh, you can see here and if we turn it around the other direction you'll see that it goes along that uh, length of the receiver here as well. And some of that gold is still there. Some of it is just that hand engraving. See, we've got uh, interesting little sight. The gold plated trigger, there's engraving on the side of your magwell. We have a sling attachment point also with that uh, gold plating in the back. And then when we move to the front, you see another sling attachment point. The bayonet is still in here. The button works, I'll be honest with you. I'm not sure how to extend this because it, it catches. Um, so I'm not gonna attempt that. Here's what we have on the other side with that uh, bright gold coating. Coming back, more engraving here. The gold trigger on the butt stock. It's uh, fairly standard. It looks like we've got uh, a, a little like cleaning kit port or something. Uh, I, that doesn't want to open easily. I don't want to mess something up. So this particular rifle is going to be auctioned at some point. You may not find it. If you go to Royal Tiger Imports, you may see it, you may not, I don't know. My understanding is this is not gonna be sold with a shopping cart where you can click, yes, I wanna buy it, and put it in the cart. This is gonna be auctioned. There's another one with silver inlay, a different model that was owned by a big wig in Ethiopia some years ago. That will be auctioned also. Maybe you wanna stick around and see that video as well. Or if you know any more details, I'm not an expert in this firearm. Uh, they showed it to me, asked if I'd like to do a video with it. And you know, most people will never even get to touch one of these. So I was very, very pleased to get to share it with you. But I'm sure there are people out there who know far more about this particular rifle than I do. If I missed something, if I got something wrong, please leave a comment, let us know. We wanna be sure we're getting the correct information out there. Uh, that's all we have for this one. We're gonna film some more reviews of some other really interesting rifles in the 20,000 plus that they have received recently. Check those reviews out. Let us know if you have any questions in the comments. A big thanks to our patrons for helping us bring you more unbiased, hands-on reviews. Thank you very much, and we'll see you at the range.